can see this is the circuit and the LED is not blinking. And now I have checked the hardware. See the LED is okay. Circuit is working. Why the LED do not blinks? Now that is a question with the chat GPT. Now what we did is that we first gave it the prompt that we have an LED connected to the PIC 16F7A at D1 pin. I told him that the LED is connected to the pin number D1 here. But below it has generated a code uh, as D1 and then it gave this and we once placed it in our compiler and or clicked on build it gave an error here. Because this is a command for the MP lab and it is mixing the command. And we told the chat GPT that this is the error and the chat GPT corrected the command. Now it is the command for the micro C. But once we build this code, I copy this, I go to the micro C, I paste it, I build the code. Now take a look here, the code is placed there and the code is having no error. It is perfectly okay, but still the LED do not blinks. Now see the LED is still not blinking. The problem is very simple. The problem is that all through the bad thing is that it is giving no error here. Now we cannot even copy the error from here if I was a new guy. It has declared the pin RD1 as output, but in reality it is declaring RD0 as output. This is RD1. It is input. Zero means output. So this pin should be declared as output to make the code work. So that is why chat GPT is not generating the perfect codes. For a new buy, it is not recommended. Guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, we will check can chat GPT generate basic code for micro C for PIC for PIC 16F8777A. So guys, we will be testing like that, like new AI tools have changed a lot. So people are generating codes for Arduino and STM32 and other microcontrollers. So what about PIC 16F8777A using micro C for PIC? Can we do the same using the chat GPT? So let's check out. So we will be making a very simple circuit like a blinking analogy. We will make the circuit, but we will not generate, we will not write the code. We will generate the code through the AI tool and we'll see if that works or not. So guys, this over here is our PIC 16F8777A microcontroller having 40 pins, it's a DIP version. This over here is the LED, the circuit will be simple. We will be asking the AI tool to program us this LED in such a way that, uh, that it blinks so that it blinks that's what we want from it so the led have two pin one longer one shorter and to connect this led with the pick you need a resistor this is a current limiting resistor it can be of any value from 100 to 500 ohm you may go the higher values as well but the higher the value the dimmer the led will go by default so select it as per the led so i will be using a 220 to 330 ohm resistor that's fine now guys, for the longer pin of the LED, that is the power pin, the shorter pin is always ground. For the longer pin, connect it to the one end of the resistor. From the other end of the resistor, you may connect it to any available digital input output pin. I'm gonna use a pin number D1. For the ground pin, just connect it directly to the ground of the pick. So we will be powering up the circuit using the picket three. That's all we need. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we move to the programming side. So this over here is the hardware. This is the PIC 16 f 7 a And there are various LEDs. I will be using this LED. Okay, that's all we need. Now guys, uh, we turn on our micro C for PIC and make a file, but we will not write the code. We will ask the AI2 to generate us the code. So let's first open the micro C for PIC. Wait, it takes some time to start. So let's wait. Okay, here we go, the micro C pick started. So let me zoom in so you guys can see better. On the top left, you have file and this video on how to download and install this software for free, totally legal from the official website. The link to the video is, uh, sorry, the video is also available. So you may check that lecture as well. So click on file, new, new project. This window pops up, new project wizard. Click on next, write the name of the project. I write here, whatever you may write, chat, GPT, Okay, chat GPT based LED blink test. Okay, the, the path where your files will be created, like the microcontroller, we are going to use PIC 16 f 7 a and the crystal is 20 megahertz. Click on next and finish. 
so i press control s to save my work it saved okay now guys we will not be doing the coding here now we go to our chat gpt go to your browser whichever you have and in the browser write chat gpt like this and the second pin open ai click on it it's a free open ai tool and then click on try chat gpt wait wait stay logged out okay now write down the prompt here now what we are doing over here is that as per our circuit we have the uh, led connected to pin number d1 and that is all we need we need we will need the chat gpt to generate us a code that it blinks an led connected to d1 so the prompt is important so we write the prompt here so we should write i have micro c4 pick version 7.6.7.6.0 install i have a pick 16f 877a microcontroller and i have connected an led to pin number 20 that is d1 recheck it's a d1 pin okay that's perfect pin number 20 that is d number d1 pin of the pic 16 f a double seven a microcontroller okay now generate me a code to blink that led after one second delay okay let's see what it do okay this is the code it generated we copy this and go to the micro c and paste it over here okay this is a code it generated i click on build okay there are tons of error this code is totally wrong what i can see the problem is that it is number one this is this is fine the it has done it in an opposite way so, okay this is fine this is fine this command is okay and there in the okay now this command is a command of the uh, mp lab it does not of the it is not of the micro c for pig so it is confusing the command this command is a command of the mp lab this is fine this is wrong so the error is error starts at this command c now i tell the chat gpt that there is an error in this expression lat d okay i tell him i copy this and i tell him there is an error here let's see does it do uh, repairs or not okay an error at this command let's see what do you do okay now it has written a correct code i guess it's a correct code so let's copy it again go to the micro c paste it okay now build the code okay it's built successfully no errors let's open the picket c programmer tool let's see does it works to me this code seems now perfectly fine okay the programmer tool has opened i also have a lecture on this how to download and install this tool tool please go and check it there Select the microcontroller, pick 16 f 877 a It's the one we are using here. Click on file, import hex file. This is the file, chat GPT, click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. Let's get to the hardware and wait. Okay, didn't work. We check. Is our LED okay? I think. Okay, LED is okay. Directly it is powering up. It is connected to the pin number D1. That is also correct. So, what can be the problem? The code seemed fine to me. Okay, we check again. Okay, 
actress d dot f zero d one as output pin. No, it's wrong. This he has declared d zero as output pin. See, while we have programmed the d one, so there is a functional error. Now this error, although I am experienced and I know this is an error, but for a new buyer this will not work. So I think the Chat GPT is not generating perfect codes. You have to like do, but if suppose it was a big project, you have to write a lot of thing in the prompt. Then this will be a big big trouble because see it's an error which a normal it is not shown by the compiler. Compiler has shown the code to be totally okay, but this is an error. See now this has been D zero. D zero, D one, D two, D three, D four, D five, D six, D seven. So this is the pin number D one. I may do the correction myself, and the code will work. But a new buy who needs the Chat GPT to generate him a code, the code will never work. So there, that's an error. So let me do the correction and show you the that was the error. So I do the correction myself, build the code, and I burn it. Click on write. Let's get to the hardware. Now see the LED is blinking. Now, but the problem is I have done this correction myself. So original code generated by the Chat GPT is like this. So we can conclude from here is that Chat GPT has made such a mistake that which a new buy cannot get. So Chat GPT is not generating perfect code. All through the syntax are fine. If you just want to get the syntax from the Chat GPT, then you may do it. But you have to apply corrections to the code. So it is not a perfect code. But this can work if you already have knowledge of making it work. So you have to debug the code to make it work. So guys, uh, we will be trying the other one, the Deep Seek, in the next video. So stay tuned.